here with Mark. We are on the spot of a house build right now for Habitat for Humanity. Mark is with Habitat and he is going to tell us a little bit about this new neighborhood and this new build. Hi, good morning. Yeah, this is a Walter Avenue project we have going here in Merrillville. We uh, actually, this whole cul-de-sac was donated to us. So we're doing this house here. We did a house across the street and next year we're going to do a house at the end of the cul-de-sac. Um, so it's going to be a beautiful little neighborhood. It's got the bike path directly across the street here uh, that, that leads along here. There's deer that wander this property. There's all kinds of wildlife. We've seen fox, deer, coyote. I'm moving <laughs> <in>. <laughs> That's what I say. I mean, I wouldn't I mind living that. in that house yeah. over there, right there. The one that's on the back side of the bike path. Yeah. That's, uh, that's a great location and there. There's an elementary <coughs> school nearby, too. Yeah, the elementary school right on the other oh, side right of the right bike right. path. Perfect. So, yeah, this is a great little neighborhood for families to start. Um, right now, currently with this job, we're in the trim process. You can see back behind us that uh, we've got doors we're putting in, and we're putting the trim up and finishing the painting. And... Uh, that's where this house will be done probably in a week or two. We've got very little left to do. We've got the electricians to come in and put the light fixtures up. And uh, that's about it for the subcontractors. Yeah, then, um, then we're right across the street over here. We're going to be uh, insulating and drywalling that one next week. So that one's going to be right behind this one as far as the finishing off stage. Uh, but yeah, we're taking advantage of the rainy weather today and working inside. We've got an exterior project going on over on Riverwalk where Bill came and uh, volunteered yeah. for the last time he filmed with us. So that's about it over here though. We've got a lot of people. We've got Ozinga here today and a great bunch. Uh, they, they've helped us out in the past and uh, like I said, we're getting a lot done. I've got a lot of people here. We're trying to practice social distancing the best we can, and but everyone's pretty much staying safe. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you so much. It's a beautiful home. We're excited to see it when it's all done, too. That'll be great. We just had the, the lawn seated, and you can <gasps> see the grass is already Already starting, yeah. yeah. Well, today's a nice rainy day for it, so yeah, it'll yeah. be happy. Save us some water. There you go. Perfect. Right, thank thank you. you so much. Well, now we have the lovely Peggy Smith, who is the HR manager for Ozinga, and she's going to tell us a little bit about this women's build and some other things that they've done in the past. Hi. Yes. Um, here we are. My About half of my team is here today. I'm a little bit um, restricted with COVID, so we're doing the best we can. And... Um, working on doing the trim and putting in the kitchen cabinets today, working with the owner of the home, so that's pretty special. Oh, that is great. Yeah. Now, this is the third year you said that you've been doing this? We've been doing this for three years now, um, participating in the Women's Build. Um, most of the my team members are women, um, so yay. <laughs> um, and uh, we love 
working with the Habitat for Humanity. Love, love the work that they're doing, so it's really cool. That's awesome. So tell us about some of these women. Like, are, what do they normally do? And um, About half of the girls here are payroll specialists. Oh, okay. But we already did payroll for this week, so we're good. Oh, and, awesome. <laughs> and the others, uh, some of them do the benefits for us, and some of them work with our Department of Transportation Compliance. So they're not construction people? No. Mm -mm. So this is all new for everybody. Oh, absolutely, yeah. We're but it's a lot of fun, right? So, I mean, other groups who want to get involved in doing the women's build in the future, because we know we've got more houses coming, they should get involved in this. Absolutely, yeah. You don't. Um, the, the people here are w wonderful to work with. They teach you whatever you need to know. So um, they keep you on track if you don't do it right. So it's okay. It's, it all works out well. Perfect. Thank you so much, Peggy. We appreciate it. bedroom of the build and we are with the gorgeous fabulous Wendy Burbage from Habitat for Humanity so tell us about the women's build so people will know more about it and they can get excited and interested and want to sign up yeah so I'm I'm excited about women build so uh, women build is a program that Habitat does it's a fundraising event which is a little bit unique in that it's an ongoing all year round kind of event so we invite companies to come out sponsor a team to of ladies and men men are more than welcome um, to come out and help support our partner families build their home we uh, ask for a sponsorship of a thousand dollars for teams to come out for the day we give you these cool t-shirts <laughs> cool yes <laughs> oh let me show you the back of the t-shirt oh, yes please we, we can do it! Yeah, <laughs> baby! Yes. I love it. So, uh, it's a lot of fun. We pro provide a ton of exposure for our, part for our partners, for our sponsors. Um, and the, so the day is spent building, which helps us get the house done. And the funds help to support this house and other families that are building their homes as well. So it's, it's just a nice, on, a nice way to give back to the community, a nice way to show investment into Lake County um, for companies to show that they are, you know, present. It can also be, it can also be organizations, too. Oh, yes. Groups 
or you it know. could be when we've had service league come out we've had a number of organizations come out um, groups of friends who ladies who want to get together and spend a day together to do something unique you know and and share an experience this is way better than a golf outing I'm gonna tell you that so, <laughs> but yeah that's basically what women build is we're um, creating an environment where w women are learning so all these Ozinga ladies as you have picked up on have no experience in building that's what I was just gonna say. exactly yes but the, they come out and they learn new skills. They've come out a couple of, two, three times. So they're learning some new skill that they can apply in their own home. And um, they also have, we also provide an opportunity to educate uh, the sponsors' um, teams on our partner families and their situation, what we're helping to get them out of and um, to become a successful family, start to be begin um, sustainability and uh, stabilization. So it's, it's a pretty awesome program. It's a wonderful program. Yes. I'm so glad we get to be <laughs> Well, I'm so excited for you guys. So um, Bill and Callie know where to get me, but if you want to get me, <laughs> all you got to do is pick up the phone and call 219-923-7265. My extension is 1304. Just give me a call or email me at Habitat. My email is online. You can find us at nwihabitat.org. And I'd love to talk to people who want to come out. Yeah, and we'll put that information up so they can all Great. see it and write it down. Great. So they don't have to keep repeat, repeat. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're excited to go see the other house, yeah, too. Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you so much. this is going to be we are at this is weird because I'm coming to you from her bedroom <laughs> which will be her bedroom when it's all finished and everything and for those of you who aren't aware the people who are having the home built they have to put 300 hours of sweat equity into the home so Rhonda has to help build her own house <laughs> and so let's let's hear about your new home and what all you have to go through and everything and the stuff that you're working on um, well, you said it for the most, 300 uh, sweat, equity, sweat equity hours. Um, a lot of what I've been doing is kind of putting my hours towards other homes just because of the way my schedule worked out. Um, but it's awesome. We've been, you know, able to see how this come from the beginning stages all the way up until this point. So no matter whether I'm here or at another home, um, you know, the process is still just as amazing. Um, I've put siding up and um, been part of roof processes and oh, wow. <laughs> done things that I honestly never thought I would do. So, nice. yeah. And now you have two children? I do. I have a um, nine-year-old, Madison, and then Malik is seven months. Oh. How exciting. And so you're going to have this beautiful home in this gorgeous neighborhood. Uh, I mean... Bike trail, and I hear there's deer and all kinds of things here. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. Yes. Yeah, and this is a, I'm a nature person too. Yes, and this is a gorgeous home. Thank you. Yes, I mean, Not cute neighborhood, beautiful. You see how it did itself. 
<laughs> it's really wonderful, and we're excited too because we're going to be invited back when it's time for the dedication yeah. once it's all ready to go. So we'll get to come here and we'll bring you a little present and everything, and we're excited. So thank you so much for agreeing to be on the show. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Okay, we look forward to seeing you later. This episode of The Bill and Callie Show is brought to you by Ram Financial and Wealth Management. You can never start too early. Building plans for your financial future, that is. Those who plan ahead and save early have more time to build assets for retirement, support a family, save for higher education, a new home, or other personal goals. You can contact Sean Graham your financial advisor at 219-595-0371. That's Sean Graham at 219-595-0371. Securities and investment products and services offered through Wendell and Reed Inc. Member FINRA SIPC Graham Financial and Wealth Management is a separate entity from WRI. Graham Financial and Wealth Management.